right before we hit record, you said something really interesting to me, which was that you can't prepare for law school. It's about what you could do during law school to prep for exams. Could you elaborate on that? All right. So I guess the way to elaborate is to explain what we teach in law school. So I'm going to give you the hypothetical that I give all the time. Every semester, I walk in two minutes late to my class, very harried, and I tell a story about how my next door neighbor and I were in a tiff, and I went over to have words with her, and as I was leaving, my adorable cockapoo Muffy was scratching on the door and wanted to take a walk with me. I went over, I talked to my friend Patty, or not even my friend, and I, we got into a verbal argument. And Muffy, who has been with me for 12 years, is fiercely loyal, got so upset by the, the um, argument that she bit my next door neighbor. And I was charged with assault with a dangerous instrument, Muffy being the dangerous instrument. Now I will ask you, do you think that a adorable 12 year old fiercely loyal cockapoo can be a dangerous instrument? I want your honest opinion. I suspect that it would not, your dog would, would not be considered a dangerous instrument. And why not? Because that's not the conventional use for little Muffy. Fair enough. And did you need to go to law school to make that argument? No, that seems like fairly common sense to me. Exactly. And so the question is, if all the law that you need is on the internet, and everyone knows how to argue, I have three children, I know that they all know how to argue, <laughs> then why are you going to law school? And the answer is because the reality is that you can't tell me whether Muffy is a dangerous instrument unless you understand, number one, that a dangerous instrument is something used in a dangerous way, and number two, that the, um, the court is going to look at how courts have treated previous dangerous instruments. So one of the things they're going to look at is the fact that I knew the dog was fiercely loyal. If I knew it was fiercely loyal, maybe I used it in a dangerous way. On the other hand, she was 12 years old, and I was really, my intent was to go over and have words, not to bring Muffy for the intention to bite my neighbor. And those arguments weigh against. So what we teach you in law school is how to read a case and how to argue facts of a different, a hypothetical case or a new case or whatever your client's case is, based on the cases that we read in class. And that's a very long way of saying to me, there's nothing you can do to get ready for law school before you go to law school. So the summer before, and I actually have a podcast about this on my podcast, lawdefact.com, I interviewed two students and I said, what'd you do the summer before? Two top students. One hiked the Appalachian Trail and the other worked in a bar. Because we're not teaching you, well, let me rephrase this. We are teaching you law, but we're really teaching you how to think like a lawyer how to think in a way that's different than people who don't go to law school. And so you can't teach yourself that, and that's why you can't prepare before law school. And my su suggestion is before you go to law school, do something that you'll never get to do once you're in law school. That's a great point. So you're suggesting the summer before just relax and have your, your one last hurrah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I totally get that. And I think a lot of people will be happy to hear that, that they can <laughs> relax and with guilt-free.